What happens to our eyesight if we sit in front of a computer all day? In previous years, the rapid spread of computers in the home and workplace has led to an increase in ocular and visual problems, including eye discomfort, blurring of distant objects, eye strain, and visual fatigue. So-called near-work-induced transient myopia. That's when after staring at a computer screen for a while you look out the window and things start out all blurry. That's because our poor little ciliary muscles pulling at the lenses in our eyes are locked in this constant state of contraction to keep that near focus. Over the time, this can have long-term adverse consequences. Yes, we could waste uh, 4 to 12 minutes an hour taking breaks staring out the window, but what if you've got nutrition videos to make? The effects of black current intake on video display terminal work-induced transient refractive alteration in healthy humans. A double-blind, placebo-controlled crossover study finding a significant improvement in refractive values and eye strain symptoms compared to placebo. Uh, note what passes for currants in the U.S. are actually champagne grape raisins, not actual black currants, which were banned in the U.S. a century ago at the behest of the lumber industry for fear that they might spread a plant disease that affects white pine, which we hardly even harvest anymore. They are, however, currently <coughs> making a comeback, though any Anthocyanin-enriched berry might have similar benefits. For example, there was a previous study done on bilberries. Why didn't I report on it when it came out? Because I can't read Japanese. Why not just take bilberry powder capsules? Because as we've seen over and over, when you test supplements, you're lucky if they have any of what it says on the label. Furthermore, even for products actually containing bilberries at all, labeling was often uninformative, misleading, or both, something the herbal supplement market is infamous for. The largest study to date found that it appears that most herbal supplement labels lie. And who wouldn't want to eat this rather than this? It's interesting. Bilberries gained notoriety during World War II when it was said that pilots in the British Royal Air Force were eating bilberry jam to improve their night vision. It turns out this may have been a story concocted to fool the Germans. The real reason the Brits were able to all of a sudden target Nazi bombers in the middle of the night before they even made it to the English Channel was likely not because of bilberries, but because of a top-secret new invention they needed to keep quiet called radar.